Kung hanggang ngayon ay isa ka pa rin sa nalilito sa tamang paggamit ng say and tell, tapusin mo ang video na ito. Hindi ko naman masisisi ang mga mag-aaral kung bakit sila nalilito sa dalawang salitang ito dahil magkapareho sila ng gamit at iyon ay ang magbigay ng impormasyon. Pero sa paanong paraan nga ba sila nagkaiba? Pag-aralan na natin. Tingnan natin ang format na ito. Say something to someone o sabihin ang isang bagay sa isang tao. Or say followed by direct object followed by indirect object. Tell someone something o sabihin sa isang tao ang isang bagay. Or tell plus indirect object plus direct object. Parehong irregular verbs ang mga salitang say at tell. Ang past simple form ng say ay said. At ang past simple form naman ng tell ay told. Ginagamit natin ang salitang say kapag ang kasunod nito ay isang bagay. Say something. O kaya naman kung minsan yung isang bagay ay may kasunod na isang tao o say something to someone. Ginagamit naman ang salitang tell kapag ang kasunod nito ay isang tao. Tell someone at may kasunod na isang bagay. Tell someone something. Kapag titingnan natin yung grammar format niya ay say plus direct object plus indirect object at tell plus indirect object plus direct object. Yan yung technical aspect niya. Pero mas mauunawaan natin ang mga ito kung gagamitin natin sa mga halimbawang pangungusap. Sa pamagitan din nito ay mas masasanay ang pandinig natin at isipan kung tama ba na say o tell ang gagamitin natin. Mga halimbawang pangungusap. Una, Tim says you have a new job. Sinabi ni Tim na mayroon kang bagong trabaho. Say something. Ano yung something na sinabi? You have a new job. Second example. Tim told me you have a new job. Sinabi sa akin ni Tim na mayroon kang bagong trabaho. Told someone. Sino yung someone na sinabihan? Me. Followed by something which is you have a new job. Third example. Amber said the coffee tastes good. Sabi ni Amber, masarap ang kape. Say something. Ano yung something na sinabi? The coffee tastes good. Number four. Amber told us the coffee tastes good. Sinabi sa amin ni Amber na masarap ang kape. Told someone. Sino yung someone na sinabihan? Us o tayo. Followed by something. Which is that something? The coffee tastes good. Fifth example, I said I'm hungry. Sabi ko, nagugutom ako. Said something. Ano yung something na sinabi? I'm hungry. Number six, I told you I'm hungry. Sinabi ko sa'yo na nagugutom ako. Told someone. Sino yung someone na sinabihan? You. Followed by something, which is I'm hungry. Seventh example, he said a strange thing. Kakaibang bagay ang sinabi niya. Said something. Ano yung something na sinabi? A strange thing. O kakaibang bagay. Number eight. He told everybody a strange thing. Sinabi niya sa lahat ang isang kakaibang bagay. Told someone. Sino yung someone na sinabihan? Everybody. Followed by something. A strange thing. Number nine, Alfonso said that he had to leave. Sinabi ni Alfonso na kailangan na niyang umalis. Said something. Ano yung something na sinabi? That he had to leave. Last example, Alfonso told me that he had to leave. Sinabi sa akin ni Alfonso na kailangan na niyang umalis. Told someone. Sino yung someone na sinabihan? Me o ako. Followed by something, he had to leave. Ayan! Sa palagay ko ay mas nalilinawan na kayo sa pagkakaiba ng dalawang salitang ito. 
Hey everyone, I'm inviting you to support me on my small business. It's Aubrey's Boutique, where I sell different gorgeous clothing, just like what I'm wearing right now. Here's the Facebook page and Instagram accounts. Please like, follow, and of course, check the items posted there. You can order for yourself, for your sister, your mother, or friend. The clothes and dresses there are perfect for various occasions. Of course, if you look good, you will feel good. Wherever you are in the Philippines, you can place your order. Just send a direct message on my Facebook and Instagram accounts. Your support means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Ngayon naman ay tingnan natin ang ilang mga halimbawa na ginagamitan ng direct quotation o direktang pagsipi sa sinabi ng isang tao. Number one, She said, I love you. Sabi niya, mahal kita. Said something, I love you. Number two, She told me she loved me. Sinabi niya sa akin na mahal niya ako. Number three, Our boss said, be hardworking. Sabi ng amo namin na maging masipag. Said something. What is that something? Be hardworking. Number four. Our boss told us to be hardworking. Sinabihan kami ng aming amo na maging masipag. Told someone something. Who is that someone being told? Us o tayo. What is that something? Be hardworking. Number five, Andy said, Hello, Joseph, you look great. And last example, Andy told Joseph, He looks great. Kung mapapansin natin ay kapareho pa rin ang principle kahit pa sa direct quotations, natin gagamitin ang say at tell. Say something at tell someone something. There you have it! Now, it's your turn. Subukang sagutan ang 5-item quiz na ito. Bibigyan ko kayo ng 5 seconds para magsagot at kung kulang pa ang oras. Maaari ninyong ihinto sa glitang video para mas maunawaan ninyo. Huwag kalimutang i-share sa comment section ang inyong mga sagot. Simulan na natin. Complete each sentence with the correct word. Is it say or tell? Number 1. He, mm, Me that he was too tired to study. He, mm, me that he was too tired to study. The correct answer is told. He told me that he was too tired to study. Sinabi niya sa akin na siya ay masyadong pagod sa pag-aaral. Number two. She, mm, her father's name was Fernando. She, mm, her father's name was Fernando. The correct answer is said. She said her father's name was Fernando. Sinabi niya na ang pangalan ng kanyang ama ay Fernando. Number three. Let me, mm, use something very important. Let me, mm, use something very important. The correct answer is tell. Good job. Let me tell you something very important. Hayaan mo sabihin ko sa iyo ang isang bagay na napakahalaga. Number four. My secretary, mm, there was someone waiting for me. My secretary, mm, there was someone waiting for me. The correct answer is Said, my secretary said there was someone waiting for me. Sabi ng kalihim ko ay may naghihintay daw sa akin. And number five, can you mm, me the way to the hospital, please? Can you mm, me the way to the hospital, please? The correct answer is tell. Can you Tell me the way to the hospital, please. Paaari mo bang sabihin sa akin ng daan patungo sa ospital? Pakiusap? 
And there you go! Ilan na nakuha mong tamang sagot? Huwag mahiya na ilagay sa ating comment section sa ibaba para mabasa ko at makita rin ang ating YouTube Online Community of Learners. That's our lesson for today. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. At huwag mo rin kalimutang i-click ang notification bell para lagi kang updated every time I have newly uploaded videos. Maaari nyo rin i-share sa comment section sa ibaba ang mga topics na gusto nyo pang matutuhan at gagawan ko yan ng video para sa inyo. See you on my next videos! Bye!